up YouTube fam, Dan Hookshead here. Today I'm going to teach you all how to fish for winter blues. Got all three of my setups behind me right now. Let's go put some bait on them and let's get out there and let's get them. Alright y'all got me some gizzard shad here. This one in particular is a giant. Um, so we're going to go ahead and cut off this tail fan. Get that out of the way. And I'm going to go a bunch of different sizes. Like in the back here, all this meat. I'm going to go ahead and do little little chunks like that. Once we get to the thicker part of the fish, we'll go thinner chunks. So these bigger chunks like this one and this one, I'm going to split down the middle. All right, here we go. All right, this first setup, I got 50 pound braid on it. It is a marathon combo, fortress edition. You can find these at Dick's Sporting Goods. And so my first setup, I only have a measly little three ounce weight on here, followed by a bead to protect the knot. And believe it or not, the fish are not scared of this leader. This is a bright lime green trilene big game leader. I got a six out eagle claw on there and about two feet so the purpose of having such a light weight on this setup is i'm going to cast it out there and although it looks calm on the surface underneath there's a decent current and what this is going to do where i cast it's going to take it and it's actually going to drop it right into right into where the fish should be holding but that's the reason i use lighter weight sometimes so it actually does get carried into those holes that you're not 100% about. So we're gonna go ahead and just chunk this on there. All right, see that? All these scales on the tip, be sure to clean those off. You'll miss fish not cleaning off those scales. And be sure to leave as much hook exposed as possible without your bait falling off. Got a conventional setup. Pen 330 GT, 50 pound mono, ugly stick, tiger series, tiger rod. This thing is a beast. All right, so on this one, I'm using a three-way swivel setup. Probably about a foot of leader line. And again, another six out eagle claw. Now for this one, I'm using an eight ounce. Now this is definitely extremely excessive i could get away with probably a five or a six but i currently do not have any so the point of that is once i cast it where i cast it here i want it to stay there especially if i catch a fish out of this spot because if that's the case then i know there's more the colder it gets they fill up these holes and they congregate and they just sit there and they'll sit there until either bait stops running through there or the temperature changes. So we're gonna see if we can find some straight out right here and go from there. My main line is 50 pound test. My sinker line is only 15. That way, if this sinker gets caught, I can pop it and still have my fish hooked. Turn my clicker on. Drag open. Third setup is the same thing. Three-way swivel, 50 pound test leader. This is actually probably eight inches, eight to 10 inches. Again, eight ounce weight. And I want this one to also stay in place. Everything I have out right now is at about 50 feet. We'll give a recast about every 15, 20 minutes. And then when it comes down to crunch time, we'll give more recasts sooner, probably about every 10 minutes. Let's see what happens. Oh, there goes this one again. Yep, there's a the fish on there. Got him. He's small, but we got him. 
Got him. Oh, I think he just came off. Oh, man. Yep, he just came off. Damn. There he is. He's on. He's on. He might not. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, he's rubbing on everything he can. Feels so heavy. Definitely is a heavy fish. But the way it's swimming, I don't think it's that big. Yeah, he ain't that big, but he's a nice fish. Nice and chunky. Yeah, he's burping. <coughs> nice big burp. We're gonna let him burp out. Give him a second to collect himself. Here we go, y'all. This might be a bigger one. So hard to tell right now. Oh, this one ain't budging. Oh, I think this is a beast, y'all. Definitely feels super heavy. Oh yeah, he ain't even moving. Oh yeah, this thing ain't even moving. It feels heavier than the last one. Ooh, this might be what we came for, y'all. Ooh, all right, big winter blues. It's coming up. Come on. Come on. This is a beast, y'all. It won't let me. Won't let me grab him. Oh, yeah. That's what we came here for, y'all.
All right, y'all, one last time before I let this thing go. That's why we come out here. These giants got lucky. Fishing's always luck. Let's try and kiss another one, see if there's a twin. I was getting bites there. My bait was even warmer, so it's definitely a warm spot over there. So I switched everything, except for my one rod I'm still, still messing with, but I switched everything over there and that 50 pounder hit, boy. It might even be bigger than 50. Of course, I don't have my measuring tape or any of that, but that's a beast of a fish. Alright y'all, it's getting dark, I'm going to have to leave soon, um, but hopefully we'll catch another monster. If not, I hope you all learned something today, and that is today's episode. Glad y'all joined in. That hook set, signing out. Get him!